I thought we were, but I still think we're all right. Because I used the 25 meter uh, ring. Okay. We could get a little closer to that than I thought. But I remember last time we here, it turned out to be further away than we thought. Hmm. Yeah, but we're inside. There's the 25 meter ring. Right, okay. You know, and where, there's where you drop the anchor. Right. So, we're not going to get much further over this way. No. And you did um, pull against it just a few minutes Quite ago. Quite a bit. Yeah. Well, it's snubbed as well as you can be. Right, well, we'll just keep an eye on the depth around here and see how much we swing around that way. Okay. If the worst comes to the worst, we pick her up and move her. Okay. Well, I've just come in and I have this little light on here. So that means... To make my, oh, it's just a little rule on our boat that the anchor tr anchor is still armed. So I'm just going to turn it off and now turn the light off. The real reason we did that though was because we couldn't see the anchor switch because it's under a table and it's black. Yeah, so it's under a switch so we put that on so that we can see it but we then leave it on while it's armed and then when we come in we can see that it's still armed so we can turn it off. Yeah. It's just a little... Um, thing that we do here on Salty Last just to remind us about that. Yeah, but like I say, because the anchor switch is black and because once we turned off all the bolts, 12 yeah. DC electrics instead, because it's beside the anchor switch. Mm -hmm. It's black, black on a black background. So it's a good idea to have light to see what you're doing. Uh, but we now have put Tipex on it because <laughs> we don't like black, black on a black background. Well, we've returned uh, to the Fairy Isles. It is such a tranquil place it's absolutely wonderful and it's quite crazy to think that Tavelik is only half an hour away um, so it's an ideal place because if you do need supplies it's half an hour which you could even do by dinghy if you wanted to um, but yeah you're out in the wilds and what's not to like well, we've had some lovely uh, days here at the uh, Fairy Isles. If you do want to go explore the Fairy Isles by dinghy, do go up high tide because um, you can get round all the Fairy Isles uh, at high tide, whereas at uh, low tide, you're basically stopped by muddy banks. You can get round in a dinghy, not in a yacht. Oh, not a chance in a yacht. It's, uh... <laughs> You know, you can see the bottom quite often, even from the dinghy, so no way with the yacht. Um, but it's really pretty, and uh, there's quite a few trees up there. That I have to be honest, uh, quite a few arboretums would be very proud to have them. Uh, they are so magnificent. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this anchorage for a quiet time, if that's what you want. So what are we doing today? Oh, <laughs> we're off. Um, not tonight, but tomorrow there's going to be a big squall coming through. And um, we're also uh, running out short of supplies, like coffee. Peppy and I need our coffee. So I'll be taking us through uh, the Sound of Ling for all the umpteenth time. So even though I've done the pilotage loads of times, I've still read it all up and things like that i don't think when you've got tidal races of that kind of speed that should ever be blasé about them but that's just me and Beth. We're motoring down Loch Swain and um, the rain looking, is, out, looking out for box. The rain has stopped at least. Yeah, so uh, it means that uh, being on the helm is in such a bad position. <laughs> yeah, um, it's deadly calm, very, very little wind. Every boat we've passed has been motoring just like us. So I guess it's a motory kind of day. But we'll get out, we'll see what the current's like in the main channel in the Sound of Jura and with a bit of luck. Uh, we'll pick up the express train that is the Jura Tide and we'll flip ourselves up through the Sound of Ling and get to the other side of it before the weather comes in tomorrow. One of the reasons we're doing it is the weather is due to come from the north and the Sound of Ling is not a place you want to have wind over tide, not with a seven knot current against the wind. 
Yeah, so what we decided to do is to go today because although we've got very little wind, we're not going to have wind against tide um, and we will be closer to Oban which is around here the bright lights. Oh, Oban is the bright lights, some two ways about it. But, and uh, uh, you've got a decent shop, whereas... We're very um, low on supplies. Coffee is getting low, bread is getting low. Uh, the local shops are great, though, for things like uh, meats, yeah, uh, eggs, that kind of chicken stuff. Chicken, eggs, bacon, that sort of thing. But if you want anything more than that, you've got to go to a, a big shop. Yeah. And a big shop around here means open. Next time you're on a boat and people are fighting over who helms, just remember it can be like this. <laughs> whereas, whereas I'm going under the hood. Just past the infamous Gulf of Karavrakin, which is over there with the world's second or third biggest whirlpool in it. And we have reached the area of overfalls and little nasties that uh, precede the Sound of Ling. And the boat is quite frankly getting kicked about a fair old bit, so uh, I think we'll just get on with it. <laughs> Speed uh, varies from about 6.8 to 7, all the way down to just 6. We were, we were in. 8.8 earlier. We were, um, and um, our track was um, that nice yellow we get when uh, we have the fast track. But we suspect once we're past the entrance to Kari Brick and a lot of this sideways stuff pushing us into Scarborough will go down. Yeah. At least we hope so. We hope so, because even though I am no way pointing towards Scarborough, my track is pointing towards Scarborough, um, so um, I'm having to steer quite a bit off. Most of them ferry gliding. Just taking us through the sound of Ling. Um, I've done, been, done it a couple of times now, and uh, you can still go a pretty good clip. I think this is the fastest I've ever done the uh, sound uh, because um, I was getting over 11 knots. But luckily, <laughs> when we actually went, I went between the uh, lighthouses. It dropped to a mere seven knots. <laughs> So, um, and we've still got an awful lot of overfalls and um, things of that nature. So, but one thing for certain, do not get distracted while you're there because uh, Beverly just asked me, she just said, what's our depth? And all of a sudden a whirlpool just caught me. A couple of seconds of lack of concentration and um, I let a whirlpool take us away. So, um, concentrate on what you're doing.
Claire Nobin and we're here because of two things. One, we're running from weather because there's a storm due very soon. And more importantly, with everything in the boat, I mean, we were down to the last two slices of bacon and the last piece of pit of bread. <laughs> we had Old last... Mother Hubbard had nothing on us, trust me on this. <laughs> the, cupboard, the cupboard was empty. So we're in Oban Transit Marina, which you can only stay in for three days. And um, we've already done half of our shop. We're going to go back tomorrow and do the other half of the shop, aren't we? Yeah, we've got a lot more shopping to buy um, because obviously we want to be out and the storm's going to continue on, but we're going to hopefully find an anchorage that... Um... Well, the forecast is making it up as usual. The storm's moving around it like horrendously... Uh... It is. I mean, uh... right now, as you can see, we're sitting out... Um... Enjoying a glass of wine, having dinner. Apart from the fact that mine has... Uh, That's your problem. I've got a wee bit left. Uh, so we're distinct problems, but never mind, go on. But we're sitting here enjoying it, and according to the forecast that we saw yesterday, this should be a howling gale about 4-7. Yeah. And I think we can say that it isn't. Well, this is why I want to... I'll be leave, we'll be leaving tomorrow, and even though there's supposed to be some bad weather, I'd rather be at anchor... But you're beginning, you're beginning to believe my paranoia about the weather, aren't you? I am. It has to be said. The other day, uh, I actually thought, do you know what? Beverly has this, has it banged to rights. Especially when um, we were going up uh, Ling and there was supposed to be no wind whatsoever. <laughs> about 13 knots went straight in the face. <laughs> yeah, and I had plenty of it, but... Um, <coughs> I still did a cracking, I still managed to sort it all out and things, but... You did very well coming through the sound of Link. <coughs> Pardon me. You did very well coming through the sound of Link. And you know what? You did even better coming in here. Your manoeuvres in here were absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. Well... And but... I'm afraid I've reached crisis level myself. <laughs> but the other thing I've come in for is... Um, actually, yeah. Coffee. But, well, coffee, but laundrette facilities. Oh, but, yeah. Unfortunately, the Chandler's uh, in Oban has now closed. So if you do need a Chandler's or something like that, then you really do need to go to somewhere like Ardfern mm. or slightly north of here. Um, oh, Lenny Marina? No, no, no. Um, it was the one where we uh, did the uh, thing beforehand. It's not particularly great. Oh, were we thinking about Bobby the Doofer? Yes. <laughs> Did the cleat last time. Dunstaffnage. Dunstaffnage. Uh, so if you do need any Chandler stuff... <laughs> I'm glad we got that translated. <laughs> if you do need any Chandler stuff, this is not the place to go. But for food shopping, laundry, all that kind of basic stuff, then great place to come. One of the advantages of YouTube is you do not have smell of vision Well, with our laundry... <laughs> It was getting a bit rank on board. Uh, yeah, but that was another video. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just enjoying ourselves. We're just sitting here watching the boats move around. Yacht TVs and full switch. One of the nice things about the Transit Marine is boats are coming and going all the time. Hmm. So there's always plenty to watch on Yacht TV. It certainly is.